Welcome back to Jilly Squat Gaming. Today we are... Well, we're going to finish up April finally. So, uh, this is a little slow on this end just because we're starting off and we have small equipment. Uh, so I'm hoping to eventually get to one episode per day. Or one day per episode, depending on which way you look at it. Uh, so let's check on the, uh, the sheep real quick. And we have, ooh, we have a lot of, a lot of things to go through. So what I did is in the last, or at the end of the last episode, I installed what they call the advanced animal mod. <laughs> I forgot the actual name for it. I don't know why I'm blanking on it right now. Uh, but basically what it does is it allows you to have male and female sheep, uh, young rams as well, uh, which would be a male sheep. So. Uh, but basically what this does is it allows you to breed uh, your animals and it all depends on what you have. Because normally in the base game you would just have female sheep. Uh, there wouldn't be any rams. Uh, as you can see we now have rams with horns which uh, theoretically you would probably only have one male to breed all your females. But we're gonna we're gonna let that slide for this one. Uh, but basically, what this mod also does is it allows for overcrowding. Uh, so what we'll have to do is actually sell the uh, the extra <laughs> or the the calves or the babies uh, when we get them. So uh, basically, you can see here a sheep, a female sheep, is one hundred forty four dollars uh, at eight months. I believe they get uh, a little bit more. Um, and then, sorry, yeah, I said that wrong. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're $144. Either way, you sell them, you get $144. It's a $50 fee unless we take them ourselves. I probably will eventually get the livestock trailer, uh, to sell the, the lambs. I just unfortunately don't have the money right now. So, uh, that will be something coming but uh, yeah, I'm interested to see if once we start having babies, if uh, if they'll actually be here as well. Which I think they will be, just because they, they show up in the um, the context of the, the image. So, uh, And what we can actually do here is if we cut this open, it will actually show us and, and create two full bales. And then the, the, I guess the third one that is slightly smaller. Uh, somewhere in there. But yeah. Anyways, we've got uh, quite a bit of farming to do today. And by farming, I mean we have quite a bit of uh, bales to pick up. So let's go ahead and let's start in the field. I guess I'll, I guess I'll come this way. Uh, we got to put this in operation, which we got to wait until we get through the gate. Because unfortunately... Still not a fan of the size of the gates through here. I would I would love to be able to uh, shrink them down or get rid of them altogether. Why did I say shrink down? Uh, expand them, make them wider. But unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. You can't. So okay, I was I was hoping I would reach that. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a lot of these little tiny bales to pick up. So we will. Uh, Go ahead and get underway. And yeah, I'm... I'm debating. Do I want to start a time lapse? This is going to go... This is going to probably take a, a quite a bit. Oh, come on. Get in there. Thank you. So yeah, I think I'm. I, I think I'm just gonna start a time lapse. I don't really like to do it so early. <laughs> we just started recording, but I guess that is, you know, it is what it is. We'll uh, we'll get this knocked out real quick. I'm probably not going to do anything with our second grass field as of yet. Uh, we have fourteen thousand dollars. I don't think. Maybe we'll just bale them. We'll, we'll cut the grass and bale it and sell the grass. Uh, we'll save a step. But I don't know if we're going to save because the, the 
prices. Which I'm now in the wrong menu again. Uh, the prices for grass versus hay is very, very small. 79, it's it's basically 20 more dollars to turn into hay. Um, so we'll, we'll say 20%. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see if it's worth the extra work of turning this into hay. Now we don't need grass and we don't need wow. I'm like <laughs> struggling to get up this hill. Hey, good to know. I'm going to I'm going to start picking up my uh bales down there at the uh the top of the hill. Whoa. I did not, uh, I did not expect this trailer. Ah, uh, maybe the, the load. I don't remember it last time being this hard. I'm gonna jump out. I wonder if I can just leave this gate open. It's one of those gates where... I don't really need to close it because it's not like we're, we're protecting animals or keeping animals in. Uh, but yeah, so anyways. Let's, um... I'm also gonna need some type of forklift, so... This is going to be ugly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're going to actually store them... I think we can store them in here. We don't really want to put them in the silage. Pits, we can't... Fortunately, whoa. Getting a little crooked here. We don't exactly have... the equipment to do silage as well. Um, yeah, unload there. All right, perfect. Now we can kind of push it back into the corner. Uh, operating position. Hopefully that will hold everything up for me. Oh, there we go. And yeah, okay, we are going to we are gonna do the rest of this on a time lapse, so and yes, no, my gate closed automatically. I'm I'm debating about uninstalling that app. I know I said it last time, I forgot to do it. I think I am. It's uh it's nice when you have nice wide gates and they just automatically open. <laughs> Talk about pure laziness at that point, but uh anyways, we'll have to We'll, we'll deal with that later. And uh, chances are I'll probably forget about dealing with it later, but we'll deal with it later. But let's go ahead and start a time lapse and uh, get all these bales picked up.
All right, so I think this kind of illustrates what I'm talking about. It it felt way faster to cut the grass like this than it does uh, any other way to do it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more lap around. Uh, and then I'm going to call it a night because it is getting pretty late. Um, it is pretty dark on this map now. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it went from being dusk to really dark really fast and it probably still showed up in the time lapse uh, but it happened pretty quick it was it was like somebody turned off a switch so uh, I don't know if that's just this area or maybe there's a mountain that the sun goes behind and then everything just goes dark I'm not really sure what it was maybe it's just the map the way it is but uh, yeah it was just I wasn't expecting it, so it kind of caught me off guard, so, uh, but we fought through it. We've got the majority of this field taken care of so we can advance. Now, we are probably going to have some grass growth. That's fine. I might not even uh, mow the rest of this grass. Um, I'm just trying to get as much as I can before I advance to the next, uh, next month because, unfortunately, yeah, growth cycles uh, switch over the month, so let's go ahead and uh, shut everything down. Uh, let's go ahead and fold the mower. Gotta lift it, for sure. Uh, let's turn off the tether, let's lift it, let's fold it. Let's head back, we gotta get some... Um, well, we gotta get this uh, mower on the charger. Uh, we could, we could wait. You know what? I might wait because we are well over 50% for 3.4 hours. I kind of want to see how long this mower will, will last. But at the same time, oh, at the same time, I kind of want to see how uh, how long it takes to charge. Um, I'm hoping an overnight charge will be good. But uh, yeah, I think I think we're going to. Uh, I think we're not going to charge it tonight. I'm going to I'm going to run the risk. I'm going to take all the blame if we can't get it done in the uh, next month. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm not really sure the length. Like I said, they're going to be between 30 minutes and probably an hour. Uh, it all depends on how much time, how long I play it for. And then obviously how long the uh, time lapses are. So um I'm going to try not to cut too much stuff out, but I think when it comes to maybe the bales or the repetitiveness, um, like the mowing, I, I probably will cut some of that out. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.